Paula and I hope you are doing well. Today I thought I would do a video about a topic that somebody brought up to me months and months ago and it was just asking me how I apply ColourPop Super Shock Shadows so that's what this video is all about. This is a look I created only using Super Shock Shadows so if you want to see how I did this please keep watching. I've always wanted to say that. A few months ago, I received a comment from somebody asking me if I would do a video explaining how I apply ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. And from the very start, I thought it was a great idea for a video. I am sure that this sort of thing has gone around a hundred times since ColourPop Super Shock Shadows first came on the scene. But I also think that I use these products a lot. I talk about them a lot. So why not do a video showing you guys how I use it? I'm also all about simple, fast, and easy. And I do think that ColourPop Super Shock shadows are simple, fast, and easy. And it's one of the reasons I like them so much. And so I'm not here to give you an elaborate eye tutorial. This is like an everyday out the door look with some of the Super Shock shadows that I'm working on in my Peeping Pan project. There are three tools that I use over and over and over when I'm applying Super Shock shadows. The first one is a ColourPop brush. When ColourPop first released their line of brushes, it was actually before they released their line of brushes that they're not now selling, they offered a promotion um, and they had two brushes, I believe. One was like a flat brush that was good for putting shadow uh, directly onto your eyelid. And then there was this brush and it is not named or labeled or anything, but if I can find something comparable in their current lineup, I will list it. I will also try to remember to link everything down below. I recently had a friend ask if I would start doing that, so I'm gonna try to start linking any products that I mentioned down below in the description box. But basically, this is just a fluffy brush that I use to apply ColourPop Super Shock Shadows into my crease, into my transition area. I also use this all the time for powder products that are not from ColourPop. It's really just a great brush. It's similar to the 217 brush from MAC, but it's a little stiffer and I like it for the Super Shock Shadows. The other brush that I use all the time is um, by a company called Mint, and I'm not 100% sure if this company is still around, but it was created by the YouTuber Iman, and um, this was her line, and this is the Mint 24 brush, and it's just a little pencil brush, so any stiff pencil brush that you have is the kind of brush I'm talking about, and this one's pretty dense, pretty thick, if you see it like compared to my eye, it's not super tiny, but I like it and it, it gets the job done. The third tool is something I know that all of us have and it is your fingers. I love using my fingers for Super Shock Shadows. It's what I use to apply pretty much every lid shade. Rather than using like a flat shader brush, I much prefer to use my fingers. It's just quick, it's easy, and I love it. So those are the three tools I use to apply Super Shock Shadows. Now, a lot of people say, the mats are not worth the money. And I might have had the same viewpoint for a long time, but I've really come to appreciate the matte Super Shock Shadows. They are really good. And if you find one in a color that you love, it's worth it. And that's where I'm gonna start today. Um, first, I'm gonna grab Bill. This is the one I repressed. I did half of it with um, Mac Fix Plus and half of it with Argan Oil. So one half, the half with Mac Fix Plus actually turned out more gray with time and the half with argon oil stayed more true to the original bill color, but it performs the same on the eye, so it's not a big deal. And I'm gonna take that ColourPop um, crease brush right here. I'm gonna swirl the brush in the product pretty aggressively. <laughs> All right, don't be shy. And then I'm just gonna take that and do that famous windshield wiper motion kind of in my crease and above it. I just love this color bill. It is such a pretty shade and it looks like nothing in the pan, especially now that I've repressed it. It really is not very pretty, but I love it on my eyelid and that's what matters. So it just is a nice subtle 
color. And it works with a lot of lid shades that I use. Okay, that's about that. I really love the way that looks. I just love the shadow so much. Next, I'm gonna take Drift just to add a little bit more dimension. This is probably my favorite Super Shock shadow ever. And it's in my Labor of Love It project. And I'm using the same brush again, swirling it around, and I'm just going a little bit lower, kind of like right into my crease. And I may have gone ham. This is not really a matte. It definitely has some shine to it. It makes a great lid color too, but I like it in my crease for some reason. I just think Drift and Bill work really well together too. I'm using my phone that I'm filming with as my mirror. So let me grab this mirror right here and double check my work. Okay, I forgot to mention that I do already have a brow bone highlight. I just put my highlighter that's on my face on my brow bone today. So that's the only thing I had on my eyelids before this video started. I also wanted to mention that I did not prime my eyelids with anything. I suppose you could, but I've never felt the need to. I don't have any issues with creasing or fading or anything with these products. So I didn't prime my eyelids at all today. So I just went in with Bill and then Drift and this is where we're at. I love this look as it is, but I want to show you how I use all the products. So let's do that. I'm going to take a little bit of drift again, and I'm just going to apply that to my lower lash line, and I'm going to use the pencil brush. That's usually what I use the pencil brush is for my lower lash line. I have some product on. I'm going to get my mirror again. And I'm going to take a little bit of Bill with the same brush and just kind of blur the lines down there a little bit more. Okay. I just love those two shadows. Now for my finger, I am going to start with the My Little Pony collab in Sunbeam, and I'm gonna apply this over most of my eyelid. This shadow is really fun. I wore it the other day, and it was a really sunny day, and my friend's like, I can't stop looking at your eyes. Okay, I'm just gonna take my ring finger and swirl it around a little, and I'm gonna pat it all over my lid. I didn't think I was gonna get a chance to film today. It was so rainy and cloudy this morning. But I just looked up and the sun was shining right through the windows. So my husband said he'd take the kids out in the front yard and play with them. And here I am. I'm so excited to be doing this video. I've been wanting to do this for months, but this is the kind of video that's really hard for me to film during the school year when I'm working. So I was kind of waiting for a day like today. Oh my gosh, isn't that so pretty? Ugh, I just love it. Let me double check in the mirror, make sure it's even.
Okay, I try to keep as much product on my of uh, the sunbeam on my eyelid as I can, but since when I open my eyes, my movable lid does touch this part, I do eventually get transfer, but that's okay. It all looks good. It's it's just the way my eyes are. Okay, finally, I'm going to take my other favorite ColourPop Super Shadow in the shade Koosh. I just love this. And I picked up some polish, or I picked up some shadow right there, and I'm just gonna do this. Boop. Just like that. This is the most stunning inner corner highlight. Unfortunately, Koosh is no longer available. I know that for a fact. The rest of these might still be available. Like I said, I'm gonna try to remember to link everything down below, but this one I know is not available. But ColourPop does bring back discontinued items every now and then, so I'm, if I ever see it on sale, I'm gonna get on here and tell you all to run to the website and order it. Okay guys, that was it. My whole eye look done with two brushes and my fingers. I am gonna apply some eyeliner and mascara and I think I'm gonna do something to my brows and I will be right back. Okay, so this is the finished look. I added the Marc Jacobs highliner in blacker in my lower waterline. And I actually used a little liquid liner today on my upper lash line, which I don't do very often. I love the look, but I, I never do it. But I used the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in intense black. I do really like this eyeliner, I believe. I featured this in one of my top three bottom threes. But yeah, it's a good one like it and then i curled my lashes and added some mascara i also put a little powder in my brows to define them more for mascara i've been using the same three products for like i don't know a long time um but they're still working really good and i like all of them a lot this is the stila primer i can't remember exactly what it's called and the label has wore rubbed off but it is a brown mascara primer with little fibers in it and it's kind of goopy because i took the stopper out but um it really seems to add volume and length to my eyelashes which i love then after that i top it with a couple coats of lancome grandiose this has a really fun wand too it's like a wonky bendy wand I just love this product it is ridiculously expensive but it's really good i like it and then after that, I use my CoverGirl Clump Crusher in the water resistant formula. And I put that on my top lashes. It kind of separates them even further. And then I add one coat to my lower lashes and I'm done. I'm gonna get in close so you can see. Okay guys, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.